Welcome back to Weatherbug here on a Thursday. Tom Nelson with a look at the National Coast to Coast forecast. Thunderstorms and flooding rains a possibility in a few areas, but we're also keeping a very close eye on what's happening in the tropics. And say hello to Dorian. Of course, still a tropical storm as of earlier Thursday, and this thing started off as a wave just off the western tip of Africa, actually noticing another wave developing there, shifting west. We'll have to watch that in the uh, near future. But the National Hurricane Center, the forecast, takes this thing a little bit farther north here of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola into the earlier middle portions of next week. So we're going to have to watch that, potentially getting closer to the United States by maybe the end of next week. Meanwhile, temperatures in the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, the Northeast coming down considerably from where we were last week. Temperatures in that general area feeling more like fall rather than midsummer here as we're close to uh, 10 degrees below average again this afternoon. And another surge of cooler air, even cooler yet, expected for this upcoming weekend on the leading edge of that cooler push of air, showers and thunderstorms. So we're going to have to watch that. But this bubble of warm air out in the southwest continues to keep that threat for daily thunderstorms in place. Another flash flood watch uh, posted for New Mexico, West Texas, and even dealing with some flood concerns in the central plains. But there's your severe threat today. Again, out ahead of this next cool front and also along the front range of the Rockies in the central plains. Now that three-day rainfall forecast could be on the order of one to two plus inches, maybe ice at three inch amounts. Also notice that little batch of heavier rain in northern New England, and that's because we have a coastal low developing. And as we follow this up along the uh, eastern seaboard from late week into early weekend, heavy rainfall could be accompanying these areas. And uh, we're talking in the order of maybe one to three inches of total rainfall. But another cool day across the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes region.